from? My name is Scott Hireman, and I'm from... Oh my gosh, I don't even know them. Uh, my name is Scott Hireman, and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. What are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be doing comedy. Do you always dress up when you do your comedy? Um, usually I just dress up if I'm, like, at home cooking or cleaning, but... Are you making a living with comedy? No, I'm a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> <laughs> and when you deliver pizza, do you do you dress like this? No, do, I'm no. delivering pizza in like 12 inches of snow in Kentucky, but I, keep, I have the pink eyebrow always, so I deliver pizza with a little bit of something, but not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you single? Because Nick's newly single. I think we should go on a date. Look at his shoes, they're sparkly as mine, look. <laughs> well, I already like you. Um, you know what? Go for it, I can't wait. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. So a little bit about me, I'm adopted, which basically means my original family said no thank you. <laughs> my sister's actually adopted too. Uh, my mom can't have kids because she's emotionally unavailable for committed relationships. <laughs> my sister growing up was the golden child. Like when she graduated high school, my parents threw her a huge party and I got nothing when I dropped out. They're always like, Scott, why can't you be more like your sister? I'm like, how's this? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> They're like, oh my funny. gosh, that's horrifying. But actually, I haven't always looked like this. True story starring me, I used to be 300 pounds. No. Can you believe it? Yes, Mel B, yes! Heidi, can you believe it? I don't believe you. I miss being fat. You know, I miss being able to wear a t-shirt and sweatpants to formal events and people being totally fine with that, you know? <laughs> and okay, you know who I was really jealous of growing up? Besides skinny people and kids whose parents kept them? <laughs> the oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone applauding, yay, I was rejected too. The Girl Scouts. I was in the Boy Scouts, my mom signed me up for Boy Scouts. But while the Girl Scouts were sipping soda over at the Holiday Inn Express watching the Little Mermaid for their Marine Time Under the Sea Fun Time badge, I was in the middle of Bucktooth, Kentucky trying to survive off testosterone and trail mix. <laughs> Talking about, all right boys, we brought you out here to teach you survival skills. <laughs> Oh, really? Why don't you teach me how to do my taxes? Why don't you teach me how to deal with the breakup tax? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh. Look at that. That's good, baby. For wow. you. Thank you. <laughs> good job. Oh. Listen, well, I am so nervous right now. I have been well, in these listen, spanks for like I, eight hours, so tell me, Melby, tell I me. I don't think there's any, there's no reason for you to be nervous. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And keep being fabulous, that's all I can Thank say. Thank you. I'd love to go see him in a club or... or I would. I would uh, you're great. Is that a date, Howie? <laughs> <laughs> Stop flirting with me, I'm married. <laughs> I thought that you were so funny and so fabulous. You better work. It's the first time that I truly love, love, love a comedian on this stage, and that is wow. you. Wow, that's big from Heidi. Thanks for watching, and click right here and subscribe to keep up with AGT.